Want to keep grabbing the back of my airplane seat now? I recently took a flight from Germany to Macedonia. Not even leaving the gate, I felt my seat shaking. Turning around, I saw a man grabbing the back of my seat. He saw me, removed his hand, and I thought that was that. But no, he repeated this act multiple times within the next 10 minutes. Each time I'd lean back trying to press against his hand, making him retract it. After the plane took off, the shaking resumed. I looked back again, but this time, he was only grabbing the very top, out of my head's reach. I dramatically turn around, looking back from the aisle, he's just looking talking to a woman three rows back, presumably his partner. They'd likely opted for the cheaper random seat selection, hence the distance. When our eyes met, he pulled his hand away. By this point, he'd done this at least 20 times and I was getting irritated, to say the least. The next time I felt the shaking, pretending to stretch, I wet my fingers with a generous lick, near spit on them, grabbed the back of my seat, and just doused his hand. Needless to say, he didn't touch my seat for the remainder of the flight. Was I wrong? Didn't know how to get the point across not to keep shaking my seat after many failed attempts. I wish I would have been there to see the face he made face with tears of joy. I got on a flight and a middle-aged woman used my seat back to get up several times. When I overheard her telling her seatmate she was going to use the restroom before the drink service I leaned slightly forward and depressed my seat recline button. As soon as she grabbed the seat it snapped back with no resistance and I let out a yelp like she'd attacked me. Some people can be trained. She avoided my seat the rest of the flight. I have always found public shaming works best. A loud are you trying to touch me? Or will you please keep your hands to yourself? That at least three rows can hear does the trick. I had a woman who reached back over her head and grabbed her seat top covering the top of my screen. I made her aware she was in my space and then she explained list how this is her seat and she can do what she wants. I fully agreed and asked her what channel she wanted to watch. Every 15 seconds until she shut up. Problem solved for the flight. You looked back multiple times and he removed his hand each time. He understood what was happening. What you did worked. Case closed. There's a special place in hell for people who grab the tops of other people's seats without any consideration for their surroundings. I have long hair, and it hurts like a bitch when someone grabs the top of my seat on a plane and their hand catches pulls on several strands of my hair. Funnily enough one of my worst flights was to Macedonia from the UK. Sat beside one of the most annoying kids invented, wanted to watch videos of herself for four hours whilst screaming the entire time. Mother was completely oblivious to it all. Thank God Macedonians are actually fucking awesome people but I got a bad impression on that flight. I'd have held his hand gently and looked back at him smiling. No doubt his hand would have retracted quick smart. On a recent flight the person behind me was tapping the screen on the back of my seat quite hard. I simply turned, let them know it was annoying and they stopped. Sometimes it pays to use your voice. I think I love you. You are brilliant but sick rolling on the floor laughing face with tears of joy. I grabbed the foot of the lady who kept kicking my seat at the movie theater. She didn't touch my seat again. OMG. Reading this made me so mad. I would have turned around and told him if he doesn't stop I was gonna freak the hell out. What you did was so much better loudly crying face calculated AF. A thick sharpie pen would have been those disposable paper covers on the top of the seats on some airlines at least mean the seat would not have been ruined. Or a small tube of moisturizer of slimy feeling. Well, the guy still has ten unbroken fingers, so. Asking him to stop would have been useless. He already knew what he was doing was wrong or else he wouldn't have removed his hands when you gave him the eye. Some people only respond to physical stimulus. Flying Brisbane to LA tall male in seat behind insisted in putting knee into back of my seat which in turn, put undue pressure into my back. Decided would not put put up with that for following X hours so brought elbow with some force into back of seat coinciding with, position of his knee. 
much what I perceived to be swearing in foreign language followed. No further issue. Yeah I don't understand all those posts with people bitching about feet being in their armrest. Poke them with a pen. Well played. Wet my fingers with a generous lick, near spit on them, grab the back of my seat. You won, but what if he had leaned forward and licked your fingers? Ha 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 ha. Right or wrong, who cares? You win. Just out of curiosity, did you ever ASK him to stop? Not wrong. The only way to treat a man childish is to respond with childishness. No, not wrong, making mental note of this. An upward palm to the nose and a punch in the throat may have been wrong, but you stopped it peacefully and everyone was able to go on with their flight so this was okay. LMAO. You are brilliant. And what was wrong with him? Why TF was he doing that? Was I wrong? No I don't think that you were. Not at all. I appreciate your level of petty. Well played. I was on a long haul once when the guy in front of me put his hand over the top of the seat with his fingers in my direct line of sight. I took the paperback I was reading and gave his hand a good rap. Problem solved. My wife was none too pleased. Problem caused. It was a fair trade-off. People are just not self-aware. Ah yes, the moistening technique. I see you know your revenge well. I would have just reclined my seat as far as it went. Glad to know it's annoying. Grabbing the seat back to get up is what I do to people who instantly recline and leave it there for the whole flight. Enjoy your trampoline bed you selfish plonker. Wrong? No way. You are a genius. You honestly didn't want to try using actual words first? So you didn't even ask them to stop once? Signaling the problem to the attendant using the call button would have settled this issue promptly. I feel like asking her to translate a simple and understandable request would have been better than essentially spitting on someone's hand. At least at first. Stand up for yourself and say stop shaking my fucking seat doesn't seem that hard. You know you could have just opened your mouth and said something first like a normal human being. Oh my this made me laugh. Clever booger also a good idea. Um, you could have just asked him to stop? You a grown-up would. I had a guy of color sitting in front of me one time as we were on decent he was picking at his hair. Fluffing it I guess, but he would also grab tiny bits of it and pull it out quickly then put it up to the air vent above him, and let it go blowing back on me. Was so disgusting. Good one, but consider if you'd done that to the wrong person, you could have been removed from the plane for assault and bioterrorism and had 20 different phone videos of you going viral. Just saying. North Macedonia. Macedonia is in Greece. Could you have just asked him to stop it? Before you contaminated him with a biohazard did you even bother to talk to the guy? Ask him to not do that. So you never said anything, just kept glaring back and then decided the only logical thing is to do the spit thing? You haven't thought of, you know, using words? Next time, try using your words. Can you talk? Why didn't you speak to him the first time? You did wrong by not telling him to stop it. What's the matter with you? Passive aggressive freak. I had a very sleepless flight from Sydney to San Fran. This older South Asian couple kept getting up and down and grabbing my seat in the process. I'm South Asian myself, but I was so exhausted I couldn't even complain. I'd been to a wedding in Perth, had an amazing hookup with one of the other attendees and then jumped on the flight to Sydney. So zero sleep in two days. Brutal. Why didn't you just ask him to please stop? Did you try using your words like an adult and ask them to stop?